This is a look at weekly unemployment claims in the United States. While they are down from 11 weeks ago, they are starting to tick back up. So a growing number of Americans need jobless benefits, just as the country's temporary $600 unemployment payments are set to expire. That brought a group of protesters to a local congressman's office today. Here's 13 on your side's Emma Nicholas. It's not a job rooted in consistency. The, on, the only promise uh, once we get there is the wages and the conditions. West Michigan stagehands never quite know what their next project will look like. But in the middle of a pandemic, Josh Ross Camp says their work has come to a halt. If there's no concerts, there's no plays, there's no sports, there, there's no conventions, there's no work for us. Like millions of others, they've relied on the unemployment boost, which expires next week. Congress is still negotiating the next COVID-19 relief bill. It's why the local International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees Union rallied near U.S. Representative Bill Heisinger's Granville office on Thursday, calling for an extension. The best stories I'm hearing now is now um, early spring that we might get back to work if this pandemic starts to subside. They were joined by members of Michigan United, like Viviana Rubio, a college student who says she's lost both of her jobs. Well, and if it's a struggle for me that I'm just one person, imagine people who have families, you know? How are they gonna be able to feed their children and, you know, take care of their families? Democrats want to extend the $600 payment, while Republicans want to see it reduced. I mean, we're not trying to get this extension so we can pay for our, our second and third homes. We're trying to get this extension so we can live. The benefit expires this week in Michigan. In Granville, Emma Nicholas, 13 on your side.